But first at 10, the Dayton men's basketball team tipped off their season opener, a small sign of normalcy. It follows the abrupt cancellation of their historic season this past spring due to COVID-19. 2 News is bringing you team coverage of tonight's game and its impact on the Miami Valley. We start with 2 Sports anchor Hutch Connerman. Well, Brooke, in the 116-year history of UD basketball, the Flyers have had a lot of different starts to the season. None quite like this one. After two teams pulled out of the opener because of coronavirus issues, Bellarmine and Alcorn State, the Flyers finally tipped against the Panthers from Eastern Illinois. UD scoring the first seven points and leading wire to wire in this one. Four Flyers scoring in double figures with Ibby Watson leading the charge, a game-high 16 points. Grant Skies led by as many as 16 in the second half, but Eastern Illinois put together a late run and had a chance to tie the game at the end, but the three-point shot at the buzzer was off the mark, and the Flyers survived 66-63. UD's next scheduled game is Saturday afternoon versus SMU at 2 o'clock start time at the arena. I have more highlights and reaction coming up later in two sports. Well, the atmosphere at UD Arena was a big change. That facility can hold more than 13,000 fans, but the state health department is capping spectators to no more than 300. UD athletic staff said the number for tonight's game was well below 300. Seats will predominantly go to family members of the team with everyone masked and social distancing. Crowd noise is pre recorded, and there were no live bands or cheerleaders there tonight. And we continue our team coverage of that season opener. Flyer Nation typically supports many locally owned restaurants and bars, but not having games or limiting the number of fans is affecting them financially. Two News reporter Caroline Moores is live at UD Arena after talking to businesses tonight. Well, not only were stadium seats empty, but so were bars and restaurant seats all across Brown Street. Now, the restaurants I talked with here tonight say not having flyer games were another financial burden on top of the pandemic. UD games help us out tremendously financially, and it is a large loss to not have that boost. The UD arena once sounded like this. But now, thousands of seats sat empty during a home game. Restaurants and bars on Brown Street say not having their normal influx of fans this year was another financial drain on top of the pandemic. There, there is no atmosphere right now. I mean, we probably won't even get people in here to watch the game. Um, you know, we'll have it on television, we'll have it on the TVs, but uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of any type of atmosphere. Fans inside the arena said they're glad to see the boys back on the court, but the sound of thousands of Flyers fans cheering will definitely be missed. When this place is filled, it's exciting. I myself like to sit by the band because it's just so much excitement with the band. It is a little different. I'm excited. I'm excited for the team. They just want to play. Fans in tonight's attendance definitely said that the atmosphere felt different, but seeing the boys back on the court gave them a sense of normalcy. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.